Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a first impressions of a foundation. I'm trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have the shade Golden Beige, which is a medium warm shade. So this foundation is meant to be perfect for events with photos. It says goodbye photo flashback. I have heard amazing things about this, so I expect to be blown away by it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer today. I've really been liking this. I only used it for the first time. Was it last week or the week before? And it was so good. I am, for the purpose of this video, just going to do it on half of my face. I always do wear a primer though. Okay, so is it a pull off? I don't even know. Is it a twist off? Oh my god, am I going to break it? Alright, so it's a twist and then it has a spatula. So I guess like I just put it, it's a little bit unhygienic, but like, I mean, I guess if you're the only one using it now, it may be too dark for me today because this is like the day tan look, to be honest, like this is the most like efficient way of applying foundation. You're not wasting product. Um, you're getting it straight on your face. Upon first inspection, it looks okay, but I feel like it's going to oxidize. So I'm just going to blend that with my beauty blender on this side, which I can notice it shears it out so much. Obviously, I don't have any tan on my face at the minute. I tanned when I tanned my body, but as you can see, it's just worn off. <laughs> I feel like all that's done is even out my skin color. <laughs> like it hasn't given me any coverage, like maybe a tiny little bit of coverage, but nothing. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and pop some on this side. So I'm just going to use a, a brush. Wow, the coverage is so much better with a brush. What the heck? That's like a different foundation. Okay, so the coverage was way better with a brush. Although, I don't know. I don't really see the difference, but like it went on a lot better. I don't know. We'll just put... Another coat on. Okay, so there's two coats. I feel like the coverage is pretty good, but obviously you can still see my imperfections, um, which I kind of expected. They are really bad at the minute. Wow, today is just getting darker and darker, honestly. I don't know if that's going to make that harder to see. I might go ahead and put some more on. I don't know. I just feel like it needs some more. I don't know. Am I being like ridiculous? Maybe I'll use the beauty blender over the top. I actually quite like it. I like the finish of it, to be honest. The finish of it. I'll see that added. Yeah, that's a little better. The finish of it is like matte, but it's not like drying matte. It's actually really, really nice. And you know what? It matches me really well. Like it's not too orange although um it is quite you know it's it's yellow based which is good like i feel it matches me pretty well it hasn't seemed to oxidize too much with which is amazing you don't find that in that many foundations these days i can still see like a few things popping up on my cheeks and yeah but it's done a pretty good job at covering up my acne at the minute to be honest okay i'll show you a close-up So I'm going to come back when I finish my foundation and then give my thoughts. Um, it is 10.13 a.m. So I'm hoping to wear it for, you know, until like 8, 9 o'clock at night kind of thing to give you a really good impression on what I thought of it. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. I've finished my makeup. It's now 11.40. I knew it would take that long. I filmed another video. I still need to do a flash test, which I will do, but I'll just show you a close up. I feel like that there is a bit of creasing going on around my mouth, which kind of concerns me at this point in time. But yeah, let me do a little flash. Okay, it looks really amazing with flash. I'm going to show you in this position with flash and without. Now this is with studio lighting. I'm also going to show you in natural lighting and then in a dark room with flash. Thank you. 
I think it looks amazing and it lives up to their expectations. So I'm gonna check back in with you in a few hours and yeah, show you how the foundation is wearing. Now I do have oily skin. I have like pretty, pretty oily skin. Yeah, we'll see how it wears. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's quarter past 5 p.m. So I've been wearing the makeup for I don't even know how however long, but I have just filmed um, some declutter videos in my closet and I've been trying on clothes and everything like that. This foundation looks amazing. Like for the fact that I have had it on and you know, been, I haven't been sweating or anything like that, but like it looks matte AF. It looks amazing. This lighting isn't ideal at the minute. I don't know like how to make it any. I'm really sorry. Like it's actually like nearly black outside, but I just want to do a check-in and show you that it looks good, like really good. All of the makeup is holding up really, really well. It does like on close inspection look a bit cakey around my face. And there's like some black dots, whether it be from like the mascara or eyeshadow or whatever. But um, everything, oh, I have got a mark there, but like, as I said, I was trying on clothes. So there's a few marks on my forehead where it's transferred. Everything seems like really, really intact. So I don't know if you can see on my forehead. Let's see around my mouth. But yeah, I will check back in with you in a few hours and I'm probably gonna pop this pimple, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll see you then, bye. Hey guys, I'm back for my final check-in. It is 20 past 9 p.m. And well, yeah, let's let's have a look at this. Um, my makeup is a hot mess and I've been rubbing my eyes because I just wanna take off these lashes. Can you see that in my nose? So I'll just do a close up. This is the side with the primer. And this is the side without the primer. I feel like the side with the primer, which is this side has held up better. There's no like dramatic difference. Um, of course, like, as I said before, I've got transfer on my head, but in regards to the oiliness, I am so oily these days. And this is actually so good. And I haven't even touched up my lips actually. So I look like a freaking hot mess. I'm so sorry. I'm just like ready to take everything off and go to bed. But honestly, like this is actually really good. Oh my God, everything's just a hot mess. Like above my lip is pretty cakey, but I don't think that anything, like I think you could just like touch it up. My skin isn't the best at the moment, but I'm looking at the longevity of it and it has lasted pretty well considering I have gotten changed like 10 times today or even more like 20 times to be honest. And yeah, the oil isn't there. I would definitely recommend with a primer. And yeah, it works great in flash. This would be a foundation that I would be happy to wear to an event. I'd probably give it maybe like, maybe an eight out of 10, eight and a half, I think. I'm so surprised with this oiliness, like blown away. <laughs> Anyway, if you wanted to see any more first impressions, I will have a playlist linked down below, so go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.